This is experiment one, basic techniques. Calculate the average and standard deviation. Well, we've got from our uh, calculations of the density, three density values here. <clears throat> we wanna take the average of them. Of course, the average is add them all up and divide by how many numbers there are. We will do, since we're doing addition, And to at least think about sig figs, we will stack them all up here and add them. I get 2.92. which to the smallest number of decimal places, since that's what you do for addition, is uh, two decimal places. So our number is now <clears throat> 2.92, so all three digits are significant. Then we're gonna take 2.92, divide it by three, the number of numbers that we have, and we get 0 0.973. grams per milliliter as our average. And what our calculations are telling us is that all three of those digits are significant. But typically, what you'll find is if there are only two significant figures in your data points, that there should be only two significant figures in your average. And so that's, that's to be looked at because we're gonna do the standard deviation next. And when we do the standard deviation, you should have agreement between the how precise your uh, average is and how precise your um, standard deviation is. And we'll see. If, but for now, I think we're going to just say, so there should be three sig figs, but based on the fact that there are only two sig figs in each of our density values, So there's wiggle room here, and we're trying to figure this out because significant figures, remember, are always uh, trying to say, how can we tell, express the number in a way that expresses all of the certain digits plus one digit that is uncertain? So that's where we're going with this. All right, so uh, we're going to say 0 0.97 grams per milliliter. That's our average. Now let's do our standard deviation. Our standard deviation uh, calculation, uh, which is, uh, you can find it many places, is going to be so that the standard deviation, which is lowercase Greek letter sigma, is going to be, here's the formula, the summation from i equals one to n, where this just means for each of the trials, one, two, and three, four, up to n, where n is the total number of trials. Take the square root of xi, which is each individual value, minus x bar, where x bar is the average. And even though we only have two sig figs here, we are gonna carry all of our uh, digits through our calculations and use the underscore technique. Square that and then divide by n minus one. n for this lab is three, so three trials, n minus one, this number will turn out to be a two. So let me set this up for you. Uh, it's gonna take a little bit of space here. So for uh, standard deviation, which is sigma, it's gonna take my first data point, subtract off the average, and square it, plus the same thing. And I will drop my units for this. Oops, that's a seven. <clears throat> the whole thing divided by n minus one, three minus one, which is two, and then square root the whole thing. 
So that's what the calculation looks like. We'll do a couple more steps since this is our first one. And again, always good to write out your first one longhand in your lab so that uh, you can make sure you know all of the mechanics and the parts of it. And your instructor may require it, so please check with your instructor. All right, so 0.965 minus 0.973, I get that. And then I have my squared button here, so I'm just going to square it. 0 0.000064. And even though it was negative, when you square it, it will become positive. 0.985 minus 0.973 equals, important to equals, and then square it. Point 0.97 minus point 0.973 equals it, square it. So far, so good. Now I'm going to add these three numbers up, divide by two, and then square root it. I've already got this last one in here. Plus 0.000144 plus 0.000064 equals divide by two. And then my square root is right above my squared, so I hit shift. And I get that my standard deviation is 0 0.0104. And as you might have guessed, we're going to go to the hundredths place, and that's going to miss our first digit here. Our first non-zero digit is agreeing. It's saying there is some uncertainty in this digit. That's why uh, there is a number here. And uh, a couple other things. We put a plus and minus in front of this because it is positive or negative. This is a measure of the uh, how widely spaced our points are. Our points, if you remember, were at 0 0.96, 0 0.97, and 0.98, more or less. There's a difference of 0.01 between those. That's roughly what we see in our calculation. The calculation is easy to make mistakes, and so always check in that the approximate gaps between your data are what you're seeing down here. And finally, our average with our standard deviation was typically how we will report it. So 0 0.97 uh, plus or minus 0 0.01 grams per milliliter with units. This seven being our last digit that we're a little uncertain of is reflected in the fact that it's plus or minus 0 0.01 in that digit place. So we're certain about the nine. We know a some information, actually quite a bit, but not perfectly about the hundreds place with the seven, plus or minus 0 0.01.